There are various herbal brews that are known to be good for hair growth. Rosemary is on top of that list. This week, I've been using a lot of rosemary in creating herbal recipes for my hair in an effort to regrow some of the hair that I've shed. So I'm going to be using rosemary today to make some rosemary water. I'm using fresh rosemary from my garden. Now you can use dried rosemary, but when it comes to making the rosemary water, I honestly prefer the fresh rosemary. I'm using about six sprigs of rosemary here, and I'm going to put it in some water and then boil it uh, at medium heat for about half an hour. My rosemary is washed, and I'm going to use about 500 ml of water to start. I say to start because once you boil the rosemary, the water is going to decrease considerably, and you might end up with half or less than half of the amount of water that you've started out with. So I put my rosemary in, I let it boil with the water, and then I reduce the heat to a medium heat and let it simmer. So leave the rosemary to simmer with the water for at least 20 minutes. And then you'll start noticing that the water will change color. It will start to change color. That means the rosemary is now really being infused into the water. Um, after about 20-30 minutes, you will notice that the water has turned a reddish brown sort of color. And once you see that, you know that your rosemary water is pretty much ready. You can see I'm left with about half the amount of liquid that I started out with. And now I'm going to strain the liquid into a cup or a jug. You can use whatever container you have available and then wait for the liquid to cool down before you add any essential oils or any additives. So this is what I have. This should last me a couple of days, hopefully three days. And now I'm going to add some rosemary essential oil to the rosemary water just to give it a little kick so i'm adding in about 20 drops of the rosemary essential oil just stirring it into the mixture making sure that it's all well stirred in and then i'm going to put it into a spray bottle that i'll be using to spray my hair so i've waited for it to cool down and now i'm putting it in the spray bottle and um, i don't have so much of it but you can see what i have here could last me a couple of days i'm sure it's going to go at least two days so here i am spraying my hair this is uh, two days after i've done the herbal oil and uh, i have my hair in a protective hairstyle so before i'm going to take it out i'm moisturizing my hair and um, with the rosemary water i'm aiming at the roots of my hair and at the scalp first so just spraying the scalp and spraying the roots of my hair and then trying to sort of press it into my hair working it downwards to make my hair flexible enough to unravel my twists Here's my hair dry and I don't know if I'm tripping but I'm seeing like new hair coming okay it's just been a few days so I don't want to like maybe it's just freeze but I don't know I just feel like I feel like something is something is happening here I've been using the rosemary water every day just to refresh my hair I keep it moisturized, but not, you know, over moisturized. And then I add a bit of the herbal hair oil that um, I made. So if you haven't seen that video, just check in 
my list of videos or I will put the link in the description box so that you can go and watch that video um, where I created a herbal hair oil I'm using it now I've added since I started using it um, I had some left in the jar so when it got to like half I filled it up again and I'm still using it so I'm going to use it until it gets finished and then we'll see if there's been any difference with how my hair looks the thickness you know and one thing I noticed when I did the hair mask and after I washed it out my hair felt very soft I put the oil in and um, there was a lot of shrinkage like I felt like my hair had shrunk you know I felt like um, it was just less hair on my head. I was kind of freaking out actually anyway <laughs> um, My hair feels good. It feels soft right now. It's actually dry So I'm going to keep using the rosemary water. Um, actually it's finished already Um, I use it for actually two days I thought I was going to be able to use it for three days, but it was pretty much two days. I didn't make very much. So I'm going to make some more and I'm going to keep using that in my hair whenever I want to moisturize and style my hair. So I released the twists, as you can see. I think so far, so good. So far, so good. And I'm seeing like all this. I like to believe this is like new sprouting hair, you know, to give me a fuller head of hair because... That's what I used to have and now I've, I've lost like so much hair in the past. Okay, so when you have kids, okay, let me just go there because when you have kids, sometimes you, you shed a lot of hair. While you're pregnant, you sometimes get the best looking hair while you're pregnant and then once you have the child, oh my goodness, shedding, shedding and that happened to me. Um, and then I kind of got it back to a certain thickness and then recently, I mean, my kids are now 10 and 8 years old, so um, It has to do more with sometimes stress, you know, there are different reasons for losing your hair or shedding your hair so It could be different things. It could be medical. You could be having some kind of a medical um, Issue so one thing you can do if you don't really know what is causing your hair loss to see a doctor or your herbalist or whoever you know your medical professional to try and diagnose the reason why you are actually losing hair or shedding hair um, like I said many many cases in many cases it's due to just pure stress and you can uh, try to do different treatments to at least keep your hair at a certain level now some people suffer from alopecia and all kinds of things it could be a thyroid issue you know so you need to investigate and understand what is giving you you know this problem okay so this is the oil that um, I created just a few days ago so go and look for the video I'll put the link in the description box below since I made it it's the only leave-in product that I've been using this week so what I do is I take the rosemary water before I unravel my braids or my twists I moisturize and this is something uh, you need to know if you have curly hair kinky hair thick hair um, always moisturize before you start removing your braids or your twists if you have twists or braids make sure that you wet and moisturize before you start taking them out it makes it much easier to take them out so um, I use the rosemary water to spray my head you know and then I press it in and make sure that uh, the water is absorbed into my hair then you feel that the braids start to get softer or the twists start to get softer and then you just take them out and then once they are out you can add your oil if you are not washing so in this case since I washed my hair after the hair mask I haven't washed my hair it's only been a refreshing refreshing the hairstyle I usually have my hair in the protective hairstyles just to keep it lately to keep it from breaking and all that so um, I just spray and then I take it out and then I put the oil at the roots especially on my scalp and then I let I work it all into my hair and then I put it back into whatever style that it will, I want so this is basically the routine that I've been doing for the past 
week it's what i normally do but in this case i'm specifically using this oil i created to help uh, regrow some of the hair that i've shed to consciously do something to either maintain what i have right now in a in the best possible condition or at least try to regrow some of it so i use cloves i used aloe vera and you know other ingredients so go and check out the video and if you want to see the recipe and i will come back with updates on how my hair is doing and let's see if all this i'm seeing here okay wait if i pat it down i mean i can see some action going on you know maybe i'm maybe i'm tripping we will find out we'll find out if um you know it's good i'm documenting this so that when i come back we can do before and after i can even take some shots from this video and then we can see if there has been any kind of um, a change so that's my spray bottle empty i've used everything out of the rosemary water there's just a little bit left you know if i if i spray well enough i might get a little bit out of it but that's about it so now i have to make some more um i thought it was gonna last me three days but it went like two days so it's empty i'll need to refill this i think i like the effect that i'm seeing this week my hair is looking shiny it's looking nice you know this is i've just gotten home i've been out but i know if i continue look at like look at this part it looks nice see i want to i want all my hair to look like this it looks more healthy we're working on it working on it uh -huh. in the meantime stay beautiful see you in the next video